Today our goal is to download to an Excel 100 controller. We'll first select that controller, then we'll need to translate the file before we can download it. Once completed, after the controller is downloaded, we'll flash the controller to make sure we put the software in the EEPROM of the controller. That is. Um, making sure the file is burnt into the controller. The EEPROM. Now we'll check our bus wide access, that is our network. We want to make sure all the other controllers are still online once completed with our new control. At this location, we can see the points on the left, the labels and what they are as far as inputs. And on the right, we get a readout. We can also put multiple points in a watch list. After selecting them, we can select the plus sign and we get multiple points in a watch list. This way we can monitor more than one points at once. So that's how we would download a project to a controller. We're using the XL100 controller to demonstrate the process. But the XL50 controller download process is the same. After translation, we can download the file. NIK Enterprise, your source for HVAC controls, sales, service, installation, and training. When impossibility is not an option, NIK Enterprise is your possibility.